Good afternoon, this is Brian Mankey, product manager here at Steel Incorporated. I oversee our wheeled goods portfolio. How are you today, Johnny? Pretty good, how about yourself? Great, man. Awesome. So, I hear you're interested in our latest offering with lawnmowers. What we have here is our newest 21 inch commercial grade push mower. It is self-propelled. This is the Mac Daddy of push mowers. This is a truly commercial grade mower and there is nothing else like this on the market. So you're probably noticing as your viewers are looking at the video here, there's a few things that are rather unique about this mower. And one thing I want to stress before we even get started, steel is not new to the push mower business. We've been making push mowers for over three decades in Europe. We're just now bringing them to the US market. This machine is proven. It has 30 years of engineering excellence built into it. So first off, we see the handle, a little bit different, huh? And I'm sure you have people who use their push mowers around pools, commercial properties, alongside sidewalks. You bag, right? Or you're doing cleanup in the spring or fall. So think of a normal push mower, how you take that bag off. You gotta lift up, take the bag off, put it down, reach around the handle and uh, pull it out, right? But when you've got the mono handle, it's one, continuous motion that takes seconds. So if you're mowing all day long or you got a larger piece of property to do, that constant stop, start to take the bag on and off, I mean, it becomes a little annoying, takes extra time. Uh, just a much, much, much easier way of taking the bag on and off. And we're just getting started. Actually, I should have showed you while I had the bag off. You notice the little tongue. That tongue catches that little pile of grass that's inside of the discharge chute. So you don't get that little piece of grass that falls down. All right. If we look at the construction of this thing, this mower durability tested for 2,000 hours. How many acres of grass do you think you mow in 2,000 hours of runtime? Or how many miles do you think you gotta walk behind this thing? There is literally no other push mower on the market that is durability tested to 2,000 hours. It's an absolutely crazy amount of time. So when we look at the mower, you start to see the details that are put into this machine to get it to 2,000 hours. You know, we talked about the mono handle, but look at how it's reinforced underneath. It is an extremely strong handle, like second to none when it comes to strength of the handle. And look at the height adjusters. Look at the way it's cast into the magnesium deck, solid steel rods. You look at the gauge of the steel of the adjuster. These wheels, they're solid aluminum and they're double ball bearing. And the ball bearings we use use a special seal, a special green Viton type seal to keep moisture out. So even the wheel bearings are specific to the application. And like I said, solid aluminum wheels. The innovation doesn't stop there. If we want to look at the underside, you ever seen a lawnmower with a little helper handle to help you uh, tip it or lift it up into the back of your truck? So like I mentioned earlier, it is a solid cast magnesium deck. That's for strength and also for lightweightness. So it's not too heavy. I mean, it is a commercial machine, so it does have some weight, but it's not, it's not overly heavy. It really weighs roughly about the same as a residential model. Now, when you're looking at this deck, you're probably like thinking, what is going on underneath here, huh? <laughs> so there is a polymer liner that's replaceable. So the reason we have the polymer liner for your viewers and watchers that are in, for example, Florida or along the beach, uh, sand over time will, your customers know this, sand over time will literally sandblast its way right through a mower deck. So the idea with this replaceable liner is you replace this, not the deck, if it starts to wear out. If you strike a rock, you know, the rock will hit this polymer liner, absorb some of that impact and prevent it from cracking the deck. A lot of details in this. The blade itself, see this little bend in the blade? So think of that as like a crumple zone or energy absorption zone. If you strike a solid, job, solid object, hit a tree trunk, water main, it happens. What happens on a normal lawnmower? You bend the crankshaft. Now you have a piece of junk. Steel mowers, if that happens here, because we know, you know, this is what steel is legendary for is, you know, we plan for these things. We try to think of the abuse that'll happen. You strike that water main, the blade's gonna bend, it'll deform. It'll absorb a lot of that impact. The blade adapter itself will shear off, but it will not bend the crankshaft. You cannot bend the crankshaft on this mower. So you'll need a new blade and you'll need to replace the blade adapter, which comes off just with this bolt here. So take the bolt off, throw the blade away, throw the blade adapter away, new adapter, new blade, you're good to go. Now the blade itself, I mean, also different. I mean, just besides the shape, if you look at the size of the wing, tremendous amount of airflow on here. And But what's amazing is when you hear this mower run, it's not very loud. And part of that is due to the split V design. That helps create less turbulence. Turbulence is wasted energy. Turbulence is noise. So by having a smoother airflow, and of course that has to do with the whole design of the mower deck, but the blade, 
the polymer insert keeps the airflow smooth, less noise, and this thing bags unbelievably. It will literally plug that bag chuck full. It's amazing how well these machines bag. From a durability standpoint, we still have more. We have the replaceable steel rub strips on the side. Now you'll see these on other units, but what you won't see is especially at the front. We have a reinforced steel bumper bar in the front. You know, when guys are using them, they'll run it into a curb, they'll run it into a light pole, and you'll see other people with cast decks where they'll break the front of the deck from doing that. But ours with the reinforced steel bumper prevents that from happening. And even the wheels, you'll see there's hubcaps on the inside of the wheels so that you don't get grass clippings that collect inside the wheel. This machine is all about pursuit of the perfect cut. You know, other little details if we're looking at it, the bail handles even. There's even steel innovation here. Typically your bail handles will be a punched hole through, a, through the steel handlebar and it's metal on metal. What happens over time? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Rust, looks bad, squeaks, doesn't fit tight, flops around. We have little polymer inserts to ensure that the bail handles move nice and smooth, stay tight. Worst case scenario, this little plastic part breaks and you can obviously easily replace that for a few dollars. This model also has a hydrostatic transmission. It can just about literally pull you up a hill, gives you infinitely variable ground speed, and it has the blade brake clutch. So the engine is decoupled from the blade and you can run the engine independently of the blade while still using the self-propel. Johnny, I think we've gone over all the great features and benefits of the Steel RM756. It's gonna be available in March of next year, so look for it at your steel dealer. Can't wait to get some of these out on the market.